Welcome to How to Draw Hair. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you all the foundational skills necessary to draw any hairstyle. We will be going over different hair types and also do some practice examples that will help you understand how to draw any hairstyle from imagination. Make sure to download and print out the worksheets that came with the course because we will be using them throughout the course. I will be using a pencil and a pen. I recommend that you start with a pencil, erase away mistakes, and then when you have lines that you're happy with, go over them with a pen. About any kind of ballpoint pen will do. Getting into the habit of reinforcing the lines that you want will help you learn quicker. Let's get started with page one of the worksheets. Starting with page one. On this first exercise, I want you to draw the area where hair grows out of. And you can imagine that someone is wearing a ball cap. Where is that area? Ball caps are made to cut up the roots of a person's hair. And this is the area where we will be drawing hair out from. You can also imagine someone with a very thin buzz cut. That area, that's what we're trying to draw here. Take note of how the hairline curves around the forehead. This is especially prominent with the head facing forward, the head in the middle. You can see that line is curving around. Make sure that you get that curve. I'm going through and drawing it first in pencil and then I'm going over it with pen. This way I get the double practice in. If you already know how to draw ears, you can place ears on these heads if you would like. Maybe that will make it easier for you. Now, on to actually drawing the hair. I want you to think of the hair as having volume. One of the biggest mistakes young artists make is that they draw hair too flat. They don't give hair the volume that it needs. To help us develop this understanding, we're going to draw these chunks. So you can see the chunk on the left side. I want you to copy it over on the right side. Pay attention to how the hair is tapered. It's thicker at the top and thinner towards the end. We are drawing the lines going over top just to show that they have volume. We won't be drawing these lines in when we actually draw the hair. This is just for this exercise. You want to try to capture the dimensionality of this chunk. So if this feels difficult, take another sheet of paper and try to copy this shape. You can see me doing it here a second time just to reiterate that shape. It does, the curve doesn't have to be exact, but we want that midline to come through and the volume over top. For the second exercise, we're going to do a shape that's a little bit more curved and we're going to leave out the top lines. Here we're trying to capture the volume of this shape without defining those horizontal lines. Practice these shapes until they feel natural. This is the hardest part of drawing hair. Make sure this feels natural to you before moving on to rendering. Here you can see me adding a little bit of extra shading on the insides just to show how this has dimension. Moving on to rendering, this is probably the most fun part of drawing hair. It's probably the thing that <laughs> brought you to this tutorial to begin with. Once we have the chunks in place, rendering becomes really easy. All you have to do is add extra lines in the direction of the flow of hair. So you can see on the left side, that's the wrong way to do it. The right side is the right way to do it. You can see those arrows showing you which direction the hair is flowing in. You want to draw lines in that direction. So we're gonna practice on this strand of hair on the right side. Make sure to add dark areas where hair twists. This helps bring forth that dimension that we talked about earlier. Also pay attention to how the lines aren't evenly spaced. There are some areas that have more lines and some that have less. If you draw the lines evenly spaced, it looks unnatural. Make sure to have some areas of higher concentration and some with less. The amount of lines you put down for rendering the hair is really up to personal choice, but for this exercise, I'm gonna ask you not to put down too many. Make sure just to get those dark areas and understand how to place the lines in a way that they don't feel too even we're trying to capture a natural flow. Once you've gotten comfortable with rendering and adding lines that follow the flow of the hair, let's move on to different hair types. So for straight hair, the chunks usually fall straight downward, so we're gonna draw these 
chunks going straight down. So you can see how I'm drawing the hair tapered off at the ends. This way you get that natural feel of the hair. For curly hair, we want to imagine that the hair is wrapping around a cylinder. The size of the cylinder will define how tight the curls are. The thinner the cylinder, the tighter the curls. The bigger the cylinder, the wider the curls. So for this first exercise, I want you to draw a strand of hair that's wrapping around the cylinder and we're only seeing one side of that strand. You can see that this strand is still tapered off at the end, so we have that small curl coming off the bottom. Try to copy that as well as you can. Drawing curly hair is quite challenging, so this might take a few tries. Make sure you have your eraser handy. This is not an easy exercise to go through. For this second exercise, we're gonna draw both sides of the curl. So we're going to remove the cylinder so we can see the back side of it. This takes quite a bit of practice. This is not easy. So be patient with yourself, take your time, and have fun with it. You don't have to copy the curls perfectly. Just try to make sure that you get the dimensionality of it, the curling around itself, the coiling of the curl. My first try wasn't perfect, so I'm, you can see me here trying it a second time and just going in with pen. If drawing curly hair is something that you want to get good at, I really recommend processing this over and over again, because this will help you improve really quickly. For drawing wavy hair, I like to imagine that there are donuts that you're trying to avoid touching, so you can see how the hair would swirl side to side to dodge the donuts. Sorry if this is really silly, but this helps me remember it, so I figured this might help you guys as well. You can see me adding these lines to indicate where the hair is twisting. And again, I'm making sure that the strand is tapered off. It's thicker at the top and thinner at the bottom. Once you've taken the time to practice that, now we're going to move on to actually applying these types of hair to hairstyles. So I have these tiny heads at the top beside the heads to indicate which type of hairstyle I want you to draw. You can invent your own, but make sure that you cover the three types of hair. So I'm quickly going in, defining the ball cap area, then adding the chunk or the shape of the hair before adding in the details. With curly hair, it's slightly harder to draw in broad shapes. On the left side, you can see that I've drawn a very broad shape just to cover that space. But with curly hair, I'm going in and adding a little bit more detailed shapes. Make sure to take your time and enjoy this exercise. The whole point of drawing is to enjoy it. As I'm inking the hair, I'm making sure to add lines in the direction of the flow of the hair. So you can see me here adding those lines and those details that help bring the hair to life. You don't have to ink your drawings if you just like drawing in pencil. You can stick to pencil, but I think for these exercises it would help you if you took the time to go over things twice. You can also achieve this double practice by just doing this over again on a separate sheet of paper or in your sketchbook. Once you've completed these exercises and you feel comfortable with this information, we're going to move on to some practice examples. For these practice examples, we're going to do them in four steps. Step one being to find the ball cap, the area where hair grows. Then number two, we're going to pick a hairstyle and add chunks in the direction the hair flows. Number three, we're going to add flow lines to describe the movement of the hair. And number four, we're going to add rendering. So for these practice examples, I want you to use the hairstyles that I've indicated at the top. You can invent your own hairstyles, but I highly recommend that you do these exercises with me and then you can do your own hairstyles after. So for the first row, you can see me adding in the chunks, describing the form of the hair. One thing I want you to pay attention to with this first hairstyle is how the hair tie separates out the chunks. So I want you to draw the hair between the hair tie as two separate shapes. What I mean by this is that I'm treating the hair on the outsides as separate chunks. You can see me drawing in direction lines of where the hair is flowing from. So with the first one, the hair is flowing from side to side from parted in the middle, while in the second one is parted to the side. 
For these practice examples, I'm going to speed through the inking process because the rendering of the hair isn't the complicated part. The hard part is getting the chunks right and describing the movement of the hair. As you go through these, make sure to take your time, have fun. Don't get too frustrated if it's difficult. This isn't an easy skill to learn, so don't expect yourself to learn it overnight. The most important thing is that you enjoy the process. This is supposed to be fun. Even when it's difficult and challenging and frustrating, remember that this is an enjoyable craft. The biggest reason I make these tutorials is because I want to share my love for drawing. And I think that anyone can learn these skills. They're not as difficult as most people think they are. Drawing is a learnable skill. No matter where you're starting from, this is definitely a learnable skill. I'm someone who picked up drawing at a later age, so I'm a perfect example of someone who had to learn drawing as a skill and wasn't born into it. I wasn't drawing much during childhood or high school. For this second row of heads, we're going to use the middle row at the top as indications for the hairstyles. When drawing buns or hair that is tied up in a bun, you want to imagine that there's a ball at the back where hair is tied around it. This will be easier to see when I put in the ink lines and render it out. You'll be able to see that I'm wrapping the lines around a ball. For that middle head, I want you to capture the hair flowing through the side and then coming around. For the last head on this row, I want the sides to be buzz cut. So just a little bit of shading to show that there is a little bit of hair but no chunks of hair. So you can see me here just going through, adding incline slowly and adding up the rendering. So I'm not jumping in and rendering out one part all the way through. I'm adding rendering all over and trying to find a nice balance. So for the last row of heads, we're gonna use the top right section of hairstyles. So with this first hairstyle, you can see me drawing in the ear. If you haven't learned how to draw ears yet, I highly recommend that you go through the How to Draw Faces course. This will make drawing hair much easier. Understanding how to draw the head shape will make it much easier to draw hair that feels realistic, that feels like it has volume. As this course is coming to a close, I just want to say thank you for letting me be part of your artistic journey. If this is your first time drawing or if you've been drawing for quite a few years, I'm really happy that I get to be part of your journey. I will be making a lot more tutorials, so if you have any requests, make sure to email me. I'll put the I'll put my email up on the screen right here. I just want to reiterate one point and that is that the whole point of drawing is to have fun. There is no point in becoming a master if you're not enjoying the process, so you might as well get into the habit of falling in love with the craft right now, right here, and just enjoy it. Just have fun. Turn it into a habit. Thank you guys again. See you guys in the next one.